And I spent my childhood living right next to a vault. Those are some seriously bad memories I wish I could forget. Hold it right there. Vault 81 security. I don't know where you got your hands on a working pit boy, but you better start talking. Vault 81? You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now about that pit boy I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm just a traveler. I thought I'd take a look around. Is that so? And you expect me to believe that? Oh, Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am, some new Commonwealth traveler. Not one of our usual traders. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Let me speak to them. Sorry about that. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. I'm interested. What is it you need? Fusion cores. Three, to be exact. You get the fusion cores. We grant the access. I already have the fusion cores you need. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say, welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Bust my ass. Come on, call Quinn. My guys too. have been working doubles for weeks now. They need a Your break. Boy Everyone's up on working you. hard right now, Mine's Cal. You think I don't lately. know that? Just do the best with what you can. That's all I'm asking. Fine. I'll see what I can do. But you and I both know we can't keep going on like this. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects underway. Gwen McNamara, Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past two centuries. We'd like to be completely self-sufficient, but there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Aren't you curious about the Commonwealth and what it has to offer? Of course. But my duty is to these people, and keeping them safe. We receive a few select traders often enough to stay well informed. That's why I like to use a give-and-take system. If outsiders are willing to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready, I can take those fusion cores from you. Of course. Here they are. Thank you. Dr. Penske will greatly appreciate these. Now, I have work to do. Ma'am, what about his friend here? I'll allow it. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the Commonwealth, I'm sure he's chosen his friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Another outsider? what they let you in for? Just taking a look around. Is the Overseer just letting anyone in these days? What do you have against outsiders? All outsiders do is take advantage of you. You're nothing but selfish animals. How do you know? Did something happen? Yeah, you could say that. I met a girl from the outside. Said she was going to take me away from all this. I gave her all my money so she could find us a place to live out there. I don't hear from her in months. Till a passing trader mentioned she saw her with some man in Diamond City. You outsiders are nothing but liars. Only looking out for yourselves. Careful, outsider. 
Excuse me, officer. Hope that Pip Boy belongs to you. No signs of radiation. Impressive. Hey, Ashes, what are you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash! Damn it. Aaron's not going to like this. Nice Pip Boy. If it ever starts acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. I don't want to hear any negative reports about you, outsider. Hey. Now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Don't want any trouble in 81. Pardon me, officer. Don't try anything. Are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just five caps. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Boy, you're a real cheapskate. We'll start over here. best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Good to know, Austin. Thanks. See, I told you I know things. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet you killed a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet you fought raiders too. Hi, Austin. Grant says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to food. I can't wait till I don't have to go to school anymore. Feel free to make the most of the services we offer while you're here. Excuse me, Overseer. Some of our residents aren't as thrilled about outsiders as most. So please, don't think they speak for all of us. Have you been down to medical to see Dr. Forsyth yet? He told me he's very interested in meeting you. Welcome, welcome. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? I might, for some caps. All right. The Overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? Sure, you can have some blood. Excellent. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. Sit there. This will only take a sec. There. Hardly hurt a bit, eh? Here are the caps I promised you. Thank you. This will be a great help. Now, I need to get these prepared immediately. Seer or Whitaker caught you. Cut me some slack, Tina. I've been working 12 hours straight. Oh, you've been working. Sure. 
I bet bossing around old Rusty really takes it out of you. You have no idea, Mr. Luca. Hey, will you both just get lost? You're killing my buzz here. With pleasure, hey, the sir. outsider. Fine. You get lost? Caught. Then you'll have trading the going on down here. The overseer will make it for you. This is an interesting room. Really? Guess maybe for an outsider. Just the old generators down here. Oh, and hey, if you got any jet on you, I may be willing to take it off your hands. Say, 75 caps? I'm not a dealer. I don't sell drugs. Hey, forget I asked. Seriously. And if you could keep this little conversation under wraps, I'd appreciate it. Just don't let Tina know. She'd be all over my ass. direct any maintenance request to Mr. DeLuca. They will be handled in the order they were received. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. DeLuca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Hi. Hey, Outsider, do me a favor. If my good-for-nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. You're obviously upset. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. If he's addicted, you should try to help him get clean. Don't think I haven't tried. I locked him in his room for a week. It wasn't two days before he was using again. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy, I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk, he gets cut off. Good. That's the first step to helping your brother. Should have done it a long time ago. But things ain't easy around here. I used to live near Vault 87 back in the day. The stories I could tell. Bye. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about anything you've done out in the Commonwealth. Would you mind talking to them and sharing one of your experiences? I'd be glad to talk to them. Marvelous. Stop by whenever class is in session. I'll just stop what I'm doing and turn the class over to you. Hey, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a Deathclaw? How do you know about Deathclaws? I hear stuff. Gran heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. Deathclaws are very dangerous. It was a tough fight. How did you beat it? A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. When the Deathclaw crawled out, Preston was ready with his laser musket. I bet you were glad he was there. I was hurt pretty badly, but Preston and I finally killed it. Wow. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Oh, 
I'll be damned if that whole duct isn't gonna need replacing. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. Tired of these tools giving out. Don't they know there's work to be done? Seeds. I need more seeds. Stay safe, sir. The Commonwealth sounds so exciting. And dangerous. Yeah? We keep the vault safe. Terminal somewhere. If you're looking to do some trading, look for the people. Alexis has just about anything. 